I first entered the butchery trade when I was 15 years old from school in 1961. And the butchery trade was booming then, booming. Well, the modern butcher, he's trained for many years, learns his trade. For instance, how to, how to bone meat out, how, how you treat meat, how you look after it, how you process it. Whereas today's butcher stands with a nice hat on, with an apron, lovely white coat in the supermarket, doesn't know the back end of a moo cow from the front. Late 60s, Tesco came into little small shops in a very, very small way. And bit by bit, they grew, they grew. <laughs> and now everyone knows about Tesco's and Asda and Sainsbury's and all the rest of them. Uh, they all have meat departments and they like to call them the high street butcher, but Tesco is open until 10 o'clock at night and they can't make it there, they have to have it delivered and pay for the privilege. When I was a young lad, a woman come in the shop and she, may have, she might be carrying five pound of potatoes out of the potato shop, some, a loaf of bread, some milk, carrying all this stuff and she'd say, I wonder could you deliver me meat? Certainly, no charge. A lad jump on a bike with a big carrier in the front and that was com commonplace, all, all shops had that. And you'd whip the stuff around. And if you was very lucky, you might get a flippy bit off the one when you got there. So. Approximately 1990, I opened as a derelict shop. The previous person had left it, it had become derelict. I took it over decorated it all up it took me about a month and then opened up you would expect to see a few people going in and out these shops uh, we seem to be the only people here it's, uh, and it's afternoon time nobody's shopping for the tea here it's dead there's more people moving around in the graveyard up the road about eight years I stayed here because of the amount of sausages I was producing I was uh, made to leave because they said I was manufacturing and had to move to a factory. I also worked in the shop opposite, which is now a betting shop. That used to be a butcher's. This was a butcher's behind me many, many years. There was another butcher's on the corner at the end for many years. And of course now there's nothing. more time if they get all the, the local shopping in the one we in under the one roof the supermarkets sell everything butcher florist newspaper so unfortunately it is the supermarkets are basically not family butchers never could be never will be there won't be any butcher shops at all it'll just progress more and more and people people all say it, I mean, you see programmes on TV and, and they say, oh, we'd love to support our local shops. But you've only got to walk around your local shops and you'll see people are not supporting the local shops. They're supporting the supermarkets. It's dead. It's absolutely dead. Butchery now is done at source from an abattoir where the meat is slaughtered, it's hung. And once it's cooled, they have butchers who can take the bones out of the, the carcass and that's what they do they vacuum pack it, it's boxed up goes to the supermarket it's not hung, aged it's not done, nothing else is done to it and that's it that's why you can't go in your butchers and say have you got a bone for me dog please we don't have any 